Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to display related posts at the end of any of your posts. What this guy's going to do down here, the code that I'm going to present to you, is to display four or as many of these little guys here on your screen at the end of all of your posts. This is sort of a continuation of the previous news theme tutorial, but also kind of not, because you'll be able to use this code on any type of website. So what I'm going to do is in my single.php file, I'm going to come the whole way down here where it says end while end if, and I provide a link to the previous news theme tutorial if you want to check that out, as well as to a WordPress playlist that has all of my tutorials on WordPress all in order. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to borrow from the blog part. So if we go over to the blog page here, see basically what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking the code that I used to create these guys down here, and I'm actually going to put it on a single post instead. So that's what's going on here. So again, go over to PHP end while end if inside of single.php and we're going to create a div. I'm also going to use all of the same styling that I used for the blog page for this. So you just copy that same styling and I provide a link to all of this code and I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it NTT current post. So this is getting information in regards to the current post that is being displayed on the screen. Then I'm going to create a global post variable. Then I'm going to get the category for the current page because we are going to use that to pull posts that are in the same category. And to get them, I have to call a function called get the category. And then I have to pass to it the current ID for the post that is being displayed and that's how you do that. Then if the post that I'm currently on has a category I want to start storing those categories in an array. So first I have to ask if NTT post category or ease has a value then create another array here and it's going to store all the category IDs if this post has more than one and this has to always be an array even if there's only one category then I'm going to create a for each statement cycle through all these guys as NTT individual category and what I'm going to do is start storing all these arrays NTT individual category then I'm asking for the actual ID for the category here with that this right here is going to basically get us our category IDs ID numbers anyway and and I'm going to create arguments array and inside of this guy I'm going to create some rules category make sure you put two underlines here in these are all WordPress rules equals that little bracket NTT category IDs this is going to be used to make sure that the posts that I'm going to be displaying underneath of my main post are in the same category and then post two underlines not in I want to make sure that I don't display the current post underneath it here because that wouldn't make any sense. The important part here is this has to always be an array even though it's only going to be a single post. You could also put multiple posts inside of there but either way I know it doesn't make sense but this value must always be an array and all this is is the current ID for the current post that is being displayed on the screen. It has to be set up this way. Then I'm also going to say don't display pages. How I'm going to do that is type in what I got right there. All right, post type has to be a post. And then on top of that, I also want to say that I only want to show posts that are published because we don't want to accidentally start displaying posts that are not yet published to people. That would just be terrible. And then here, this is something that you could change to display more if you want to. Posts per page, you could change this to anything you want, but it probably should be an even number. And I'm just going to leave it as four. And then you close off that array. And I'm going to give myself some room here. I'm actually going to go after this. And Da, 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 da. Remember always to delete the white space because WordPress hates whenever there's white space where I have my PHP code. All right, so scroll up, then my query, I create a custom query here, is equal to get me my query results. That's why I created those guys right there. If my underscore query returned posts, meaning that something actually happened, there are posts in the same category as what is being displayed on the screen. Then I'm going to echo out the screen a div of class type more posts h3 tag and I'm going to type in related posts on the screen and close that h3 tag. So that's going to tell the people what exactly is on the screen. And then I'm going to start cycling through the results from my query because we wouldn't even be here if there were no posts that went through. Sort of like creating a little loop here. My query the post going to kick back my results here. Then I'm going to create a div class is equal to recent. If you saw the previous tutorial, this should look 
kind of familiar to you because I used this exact code. I'm going to go h3 class is equal to, and this is going to be a recent title, and then h reference is equal to PHP. The permalink is going to print out to the screen the actual link to the article or the post, whatever. Then PHP again. Don't forget to put this quote inside here. NTT, the title is equal to post. It's going to grab the post title for me. It's going to store it in that variable. And the reason I did that is I only want to print out a substring of it so that if the title they enter is too long, it's not going to break up all my formatting because of that. And I'm going to set it to 20. Of course, you could come in here and change this if you want to. You can do anything, obviously. There's no reason me saying, oh, yeah, you can do whatever you want, because obviously you can. And then I'm going to go image source is equal to, and then I'm going to grab echo the thumbnail, catch that image. This is a function that I created that is going to grab and shoot out thumbnails onto the screen. And the reason why I did that is because something that I planned on using called Tim Thumb ended up having all kinds of bugs in it was actually discovered the week that I started using it. And then I'm going to go width is equal to 150 pixels. And height is equal to 150 pixels. Class is equal to recent image. And then close that off. And that's going to print out my little thumbnail. Then I create a paragraph class. And this is going to contain an excerpt. Recent excerpt. Abbreviation of the actual article. Excerpt. And then I'm going to do the same sort of thing with it. Post dash Post excerpt is how you retrieve the actual excerpt. Echo, substring, I'm gonna shrink down the size of this guy with substring to 82 characters. And then H reference is equal to call PHP again. The permalink, like I said before, is going to return the URL for the actual post. And it is gonna be a class type. Don't forget to put the closing comments out of there. This is called click for more. The word more inside of there and close off that link and close off that paragraph. Then I have to create a div. It's going to close off the recent post div. And if you want to be a really nice person, you, for people that might read your code in the future, you might want to put something like recent posts and say exactly the div that is being closed off there so it aids in legibility. And we're going to close our brackets and then echo out to screen again. Close that last remaining div. Close off all your additional brackets. I normally do it in a neater way than this, but NTT, current, and then we want to set our post information back to its original form. So if there are any other queries, that they work. And then we want to close off our last div, and again, end of more posts, if you'd like. And if we file save that, and reload it. And you can see right there, even though there is literally no article here, that everything fits in here real nice and neat. Remember, all the code is underneath the video. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.